All right, today we're going to talk about accountability. Go ahead, Michael. For one click to the right. Good. There you go, stop right there. Most of y'all might know the song, Zero to 100. Um, oh, I use that as something for us to talk about accountability. Mike, just click one more time. Okay, in our program, we allow zero excuses. There's not excuses about things. There's not excuses about I left my notebook at home, um, I didn't do my homework, all those things. You go tell a coach that and you give them an excuse, you're probably not going to hear a good thing back from that coach. Because we expect accountability in this program, which is part of responsibility. Click one more time. So where we want to go is from zero excuses to 100% accountability. So when you come in, you make a mistake, we accept that. We understand that. But you have to own it. All right? If you make a mistake, you have to own it. So I use this with a freshman last class period. I came down um, after athlete, I mean after school yesterday, to open up the weight room and there were five boxes sitting in the hallway. Five plyo boxes sitting in the hallway. Where should the plyo boxes have been? In the weight room, right? I knew that, all right? And I know who's also responsible to make sure those plyo boxes get into the weight room. It was a certain group yesterday. They got thrown into the hallway because the door was locked. Now, one of those kids could have gone and found the key from one of the coaches, open it up, and make sure those go in there. But ultimately, the person that's accountable for making sure those go into the weight room is Coach Evener, because I'm in charge of plyo boxes. So what do I do? I unlock it, and I make sure all the boxes go in there. Because I know that I'm accountable. I don't have an excuse about it, okay? I knew they needed to go in there, so I just did it. All right, now today, my expectation is that I'm gonna make sure that what? Everything is done. It's done. Okay, yesterday we had uh, four hammers that were supposed to be put in a yellow basket. They got put someplace else. Well, today that means you're gonna have to do some other stuff besides deal with hammering. Okay, a little bit more difficult, but that's the way things work. No excuses about it. Next slide. Okay, <clears throat> quick again. Definition wise, it's up there, the big thing I put in red right there, you have to be responsible for your own actions. Okay, <clears throat> go ahead, next one. An example of accountability, which y'all would understand, is when a student athlete admits an error in correction. We discussed this. So when you're out there and you make a mistake, it's okay to go make it up. That's what we expect from y'all, okay? Because there's gonna be 90 plays in a football game if you're on offense, it might be 80 plays on defense, you add all that up, you're gonna make mistakes, okay? We just don't expect you to make the same mistake twice. Next one. When a student athlete is given the task of making sure a project goes right and he knows he will be blamed if it doesn't, this is also said to be accountability for project. You might have a project, you have all been in projects, where each individual in your team is assigned a certain responsibility. Okay? And if everybody does their responsibilities, then you get a good grade. If somebody doesn't do their responsibility, what happens? You don't get the grade that you deserve or you feel that you might deserve. But normally, somebody should be the accountable person in that group that's the leader of that group. Within our boot camp, we have people that are the leaders of each one of y'all's groups that assign responsibilities. Be here in the morning to make sure that you're working out. Make sure you're acting right in class. We're developing leaders in here, but those leaders have to hold people accountable. Okay, in my situation, I might have to be coaching a position offensively where I'm gonna see on the field whether or not they did what I told them to do responsibility-wise. And if they don't do it, who is accountable for them not doing what they're supposed to do on the football field? I am. Okay, who's gonna hold me accountable? No, nope. besides myself, I know I'm gonna hold myself accountable. Coach Ramsey is, Coach Ramsey has a boss. We all have bosses, right? And we're gonna hold you all accountable because we're your boss. And within your boot camp group, you've got a boss within your boot camp group that's gonna hold you accountable for what you're supposed to be doing. Next one, okay? Obviously you might have punishment with it, but the big thing is guys, let's just go ahead and own whatever it is that you make a mistake on. It makes life so much easier and correct the mistake. No excuses about it, okay? Next slide. <clears throat> Click one more time. How many of y'all been in a situation where people are pointing fingers at you or you're pointing fingers at somebody else? Raise your hands. It's a lot of us, right? Put your hands down. Is that accountable? No, that's not being responsible. Okay, next slide. Go ahead and click. Okay, be reliable. Can people count on me to do what I say I'll do? Because I say I would do it. So if we said, hey, take the plow boxes inside, make sure you take the plow boxes inside, put them inside the weight room. That's your responsibility. There's somebody to hold you accountable for that. Okay, next slide next one. Okay, in reality, winning begins with accountability. We cannot sustain success 
if not everybody holds each other accountable. We can't. If Coach Ramsey doesn't hold me accountable for making sure y'all do a good job on the offensive side, he's not doing his job. If I don't hold y'all responsible for doing a good job on the football field, I'm responsible for that. Okay? If we don't do that, then we can't be accountable. If that group leader doesn't take what he learns in boot camp and we push that all the way through next year, then we didn't do a good job. And that leader right there is not holding y'all accountable. We've all got to be accountable in order to have success or continued success. Next slide. Uh, we can delegate responsibility for tasks, but we cannot delegate accountability. Why does this matter? Okay, next one. Okay, next one. Press escape. Or escape. All right. So I've got a real quick little, I don't know if y'all have ever seen this before. Okay, but. Yeah. Oh, I have some. roadblocks in your life. You are. But you can't have excuses about, all oh, this is why I'm not successful. It's your responsibility to make yourself successful, to make your family successful, and to make your team successful. Do we understand that? Yes, sir. Give me three. One, two, three.